Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is, again, we keep the solemn fast. Again, we keep this solemn fast, a gift of faith from ages past. This land which binds us lovingly to faith and hope and charity. The law and prophets from of old in figured ways this land foretold, which Christ all ages Lord and guide in these last days has sanctified. More sparing, therefore, let us make the words we speak, the food we take, our sleep, our laughter, every sense, learn peace through holy penitence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass and continue our Lenten journey, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Christina R. Carroll, Teddy Barnaby, and Ari Rutgers. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. In the midst of the vision that I received from the Lord, the angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple. There, the water was flowing from below the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the temple faced east. And the water was flowing down from below the south end of the threshold of the temple, south of the altar. Then the angel brought me out by way of the north gate and led me around on the outside to the outer gate that faces the east. And the water was coming out on the south side. Going on eastward with a cord in his hand, the man measured 1,000 cubits and then led me through the water, and it was ankle deep. Again he measured 1,000 and led me through the water, and it was knee deep. Again he measured 1,000 and led me through the water, and it was up to the waist. Again he measured 1,000, and it was a river that I could not cross, for the water had risen. It was deep enough to swim in, a river that could not be crossed. He said to me, Mortal, have you seen this? Then he led me back along the bank of the river. As I came back, I saw on the bank of the river a great many trees, on the one side and on the other. He said to me, this water flows toward the eastern region and goes down into the Arabah. And when it enters the sea, the sea of stagnant waters, the water will become fresh. Wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live. And there will be very many fish once these waters reach there. It will become fresh and everything will live where the river goes. On the banks, on both sides of the river, there will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither, nor will their fruit fail, for they will bear fresh fruit every month, because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be for food, and their leaves for healing. The word of the Lord. The mighty Lord is our refuge. The mighty Lord is our refuge. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, 
though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea. The mighty Lord is our refuge. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The mighty Lord is our refuge. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what awesome things he has brought on the earth. The mighty Lord is our refuge. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give back to me the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there was a pool, called in Hebrew, Bethzatha, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, the blind, the lame, and the paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, Jesus said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat, and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take it up and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore the Jews started persecuting Jesus because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Here it's very evident that the Church wants us to reflect upon the power of water and how water refreshes, gives new life, and brings healing. We know that for those who have had the privilege of going to Lourdes, this is one of the most popular places in which people enter the pools of the Lourdes water and often are healed if it is God's will through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Lourdes. Many other ways we are healed in water. The most important one that actually we should be thinking of before Lourdes is that of our baptism. That as we entered the church, either carried by our parents or we were baptized as an adult when we came to faith, we came in with the stain of original sin. But through the saving waters of baptism, we were refreshed, we were healed by God, the divine physician. And so it's so important for us to understand that God uses water to symbolize the cleansing power of himself that he can bring healing if he wishes, that he cleanses from sin, and his desire for us to be holy is something that we need to continue to reflect upon in this holy season of Lent. So what are you doing, friends, in the path of holiness? How are you asking God to be healed? Certainly not just physically, emotionally, mentally, but especially spiritually. Last night, 48 of our young people received the sacrament of God's mercy for the first time and were transformed. Let us heed the call of Jesus to confession, to make sure whether it's on Saturdays or next Tuesday, a week from tonight, when we will receive the sacrament of God's grace, that we realize our need for healing 
so that as Jesus tells the one whom he heals, he tells us the same, go and sin no more. Let us pray. As we approach our merciful and loving God with our prayers for the world, we do so with confidence as we pray. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. May God continue to bless him with strength and courage for his worldwide shepherding of souls, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who are responsible for public policy. May God guide them in enacting laws that uphold the eternal law of truth given in Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those suffering from illness of any kind. May the healing and peace of Jesus come upon them and give them strength, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those in our faith community who are preparing to be cleansed in the waters of baptism at the Easter Vigil, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus, for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for all frontline and medical workers, that God may keep them safe, and for all who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Nona and Teddy and Ari, the holy souls in purgatory and all who have died. May they soon experience the joy of eternal life with God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts, God of all compassion, we come to you with complete trust. Please hear and answer our prayers that we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. We offer to you, O God, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator, for this our mortal life, and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world, as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Nona, Teddy, and Ari, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our blessed mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We continue our novena prayer. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Our Lenten journey continues. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Let us avoid each harmful way that lures the careless mind astray. Be watchful in prayer, our spirits free from scheming of the enemy. We pray, O blessed three in one, our God while endless ages run, that this our Lent of forty days may bring us growth and give you praise. God bless you. Have a good day.